Uh, my name is Jordan, also known as Scraps, and today I'll be walking you through kind of a quirky synth. Um, it mostly relies on effects, but I'll show you how to create everything in this patch. Take a listen to what I've created for you guys and enjoy. So I'll be showing you how to create this kind of quirky, synthetic, um, jumping around type of synth. It's uh, pretty good when filling in gaps for minimal tech or deep house. Anyways, let's get to it. I'm going to go to my reason. I'm going to click on new document. I'm going to drag on my mixer and drag down my sequencer. I'm going to right click, or in this case, control click and go to utilities and choose combinator. Okay, now in this combinator, inside this little red box, I'm going to right click again, and I'm going to create a new instance of Maelstrom. Should say initialize patch. If you don't know how to initialize the patch, you can right click or control click on the device and hit reset device. Now bring it to its initial patch. Okay, so for the polyphony, uh, we want to raise this to 12. We want to put up the portamento to about 40 and the range to 12. Then we want to take our shift all the way down for the mod wheel and leave everything where it is. That's all we need for the modulation for the wheel. For our first oscillator, we're going to change this to choose harp. So that's in voice, choose harp. We're going to take it down an octave. And we're going to turn up the motion a bit. So about 16 is good. And we don't need to mess with anything of the index. For the second oscillator, we're going to turn it on. And we're going to change this to female... Uh, female folly... I, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it should be in voice. Yeah, falsetto. Female falsetto, it's in voice. Turn up the motion a bit, so about 16 put it up an octave, so about octave 5, and that's all we really need to do. Let's see, for our mud A, we're going to change this all the way to waveform, yeah, curve 20. Turn up the rate about a quarter, so about 100, 100 or so, 106 should be good. Turn on sync, so that's 1 8, and turn up the index a bit. So take that to about 20. For modulation B, make sure it's on and leave everything where it is. Uh, we're going to turn on the first routing for oscillator A. It's this button r right here that leads to the shaper. Make sure our shaper is on. And make sure that our second routing uh, goes into filter B, like routes into shaper A. For the amount, we're going to change it to about 82 and we're going to change it to saturate. Now for the filter A, I'm sorry, for filter B, we want to turn up the frequency a bit, so about 94. Make sure keyboarding is off. For filter A, we're going to take down the frequency to about 36, and we're going to change it to a bandpass filter. And we don't need to turn up the spread or anything, so that's good. After this, we're going to right click and we're going to hold shift now and create a screen 4. What shift allows us to do is that if we flip it over, we'll see that nothing is connected. This is perfect. Um, for the, let's see, for the effects, we can actually do two things. We can actually do a line mixer or we can, since we use Reason 6.5, we can put all of our inserted effects in here, but then We'll have to go through the board and it can be quite messy. So what I'm going to do is right click 
go to Utilities, hold Shift and create a Line 6-2 mixer. Drag that up to the top, flip it over. Take the outputs, the main outputs of Maelstrom 1 and plug it into our audio in for our first channel on our line 6 and take the master out and plug that to from devices and combinator. So we're getting the signal from the, mic, the line 6 mixer that goes into our combinator that goes into our channel. So for our first instrument we have Maelstrom all hooked up. So for what we're going to be doing is I'm going to take my send out and plug it into screen 4 and all of our rest of devices. The only thing what we need to do after we have all of our devices is to connect the output back into the return. So I'm going to flip this over. For our screen 4 we're going to take the damage rate control to 40. We're going to change the type to modulate and we're going to turn on P1 full way and P2 about 87. Actually more than that, let's take it about 109 because uh, after this we're going to create a pulsar and that's going to modulate the P2. We don't need to mess with anything in the body that's good where it is. Uh, I'm going to go into utilities now and right click create utilities, I'm going to go to pulsar. I'm going to flip this over, I'm going to take P2 scale plug in the L LFO 1. I'm going to change the rate on this to let's see is that 3 sixteenths? I can't really tell. No it's 1 8 We're going to take it to 1 8 We're going to take the level to about 70 percent. And then after this we're going to create a make sure to right click on the screen for so that way it links up. We're going to create an RV7000 advanced reverb going to take the amount, the dry wet to about 20, the decay to 23. And then after this we're going to create in creative effects the echo. Now I'm just going to turn it to 1 8 and turn up the feedback to about 50 percent. That's good where that is. I'm going to right click on the screen for distortion. I'm sorry the light, the uh, echo and I'm going to go into Studio Effects, create a Line 6 Bass Amp, turn on the compressor, right click after this Line 6 Bass Amp or Control click, create a Maximizer. Now we don't need to mess on um, with the EQs too much since it's already pretty low, but we can. I'm going to turn up the Soft Clip to 127, turn on the Release to Auto, take off Lemonder, then right click right before the Line 6 Bass Amp and create a MC Class Equalizer. We're going to turn on low cut, parameter 1, 2, and the high shelf. For parameter 1, we're going to take it to about 139, gain down, Q all the way up. We're going to take the parameter 2 to 1.928 kilohertz, gain down, Q all the way up. Take the high shelf to 3 kilohertz, turn up the gain to 2.3, and take the Q to 92, so 0.92. Now if we have a listen, we should have something similar. Make sure to mess with the modulation wheel. Now we can use the aux send. Oh, and I forgot to flip it over. Take the output from the maximizer, since all our effects plug into there, and plug it into return to line 6 mixer. Now if we mess with the aux, we should get something similar. So that's actually our synth. That's actually what it should sound like. Oh, ah, okay. I see what I did wrong. So instead of we're gonna take the left and right inputs from the screen four distortion, and we're gonna plug it into our main output from our Maelstrom, and we're gonna take away the outputs, and we're gonna plug into our inputs audio in. Then. We're going to take our sends from our line mixer and plug into our audio input. Yeah, so that's the only thing else we need to really mess with. Hmm. Yeah, but that's actually our synth. That's actually how it should sound. So from this, 
should sound something like this. Oh, it's not letting me. That's the problem with Reason. If you try and start to mess with a synth, um, what you need to do is you actually need to have something selected from the sequencer menu instead of the actual synth itself. <laughs> Yep, that's actually our synth. That's pretty close to what I can get it. So thanks for joining me, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. If you want me to focus on a typical topic, or if you want me to focus on something for um, this synth, uh, what I can do is see well, how the synth reacts and what you guys want me to achieve when recreating things. Uh, thanks for joining me and I'll see you guys I'll see you guys Monday. So that's tomorrow. So enjoy this uh, sound as I play you out.